This is the AML Fiat G50 um, in 170 second scale. Uh, this is the early version, so the Series 1 version, which has a few differences to the uh, more notable um, Fiat G50. Uh, it's got a uh, bubble canopy, slightly large canopy, slightly larger tail fin there, as well as a few other small differences. Um, these were used generally before the Second World War, um, obviously in the Spanish Civil War, which is what this is. You also had um, a few sent to Finland as well, and um, I think the Italians also used some in a few other areas, and then they were quickly replaced by the more um, recognisable uh, Fiat G50, which I believe was the Series 2. Um, so this is an interesting kit here. Slightly old kit, um, out of production now by, by a long way I think. Um, and there's a few different versions of this and this particular one they've also made um, the normal G50 that we call the Series 2, this is the Series 1, um, and they also rebox this with a few different bits. This is the original boxing which doesn't have any resin, it has a few etched metal pieces and a vac form canopy. So looking at the kit instructions, we've just got on the front there a brief history telling you um, where these aircraft actually went. You had 12 go to Spain um, at the end of the Spanish Civil War and then they were uh, carried on in the Spanish Air Force and then a few went to um, Norma Norway, Finland, sorry not Norway, Sweden, Finland um, and they were used in the Winter War against Russia. Uh, we've also got a parts breakdown here of the one single sprue that you get as well as over the uh, the next page you've got the colour breakdown which um, gives you the FS number, a description of the colour and then we've got Humbrol Aeromaster and then a few other Aeromaster acrylic and Pactra. I don't know if, um, I've not heard of Pactra, that's for sure. Um, so as we run through, it's um, pretty simple stuff and it's actually quite uh, well laid out. For This is a short run kit again, so I think something like Special Hobby. And... Straight off we're in with the instrument panel using the etch metal which has a film backing for the instrument dials. And then um, it starts building up the cockpit which is a mix of photo etch parts and plastic parts. And this gives you a nice, uh, a nice view here of how the cockpit interior comes together so you can make sure everything's lined up. Then we start working on the cowl with the engine going together. You've got a two-part engine there and the cowling comes together with again a few photo etch parts here for the louvers on the outside. Um, and then looking at the propeller as well which is uh, quite a nice feature here. It looks like the blades are separate and then you've got the end of the propeller, I don't know what the, the name of that is, uh, which comes on separately. Then the wings do go together, so you've got a one-piece lower wing with the two halves going on to make up the upper wing, and also putting in the cannons there as well, and it is telling you uh, to drill them out with a one mil um, drill bit uh, to a two mil depth for a bit more realism, which is a nice, um, nice point. Then the fuselage comes together with the cockpit going in, and the canopy goes on top with the... Um, and then there's also a piece here, um, it looks like it might be scratch building, we'll have a look when we get into the, the kit here, but there's a small framework that goes in the rear of the canopy, so you've got the, the plastic part that slots in, and then there's um, a call out here for some tubing to be made. And then you get the profile of the aircraft there, so you make sure everything's lined up. Um, that's if it's a closed canopy, um, and then there's a different section here uh, for an open canopy, I believe. Um, in fact, this actually might be a different option, so you might have, I think that's a closed option, an open option, no, right, we'll have to look at that, uh, I haven't looked at this kit yet, but it looks like you've got the early option, and then, um, let's skip to the back here, yeah, the, so the finish option is actually um, an open canopy, you've got two finish versions here, and both have open canopies, and it's a slightly different layout, uh, so, you've got to pick which one you want to do. If you're doing the Spanish one, it needs to be the uh, large canopy with all sections. And then if you're doing the, the Finnish ones, then you have um, different parts here. So if it's closed, if you have the closed canopy part here, you've got the front windscreen and then the back going on. Or you've got the just the front windscreen and the... We call that the back of the fuselage, which is a little bit similar to the um, later versions. 
Um, a few other parts going on here, so you've got the fin and rudder as well as the horizontal stabilizers and some of the guns. Um, the guns here at the front of the fuselage. And then we bring the fuselage together with the engine cow and onto the wings. And then finishing off with undercarriage below. And um, here you are with the marking options. So you've got this one, which is um, a finished one from February 1940, and a very nice breakdown here of all of the information for the um, aircraft. And then you've got another marking here, which is uh, again February the 11th, 1940, and um, a very nice breakdown there as well with the paint colours on the callouts. And it is worth mentioning for the Spanish version, you get a full colour profile on the back of the box there, uh, which is also very nice. So looking at the kit parts, we've got one um, bag with all of the sprue in it, and this is everything you get as far as plastics concerned. Also in this bag was uh, the Vacform canopy. Now straight off you see it's a very very shiny plastic, so um, uh, I don't know whether that will affect the way that paint gets taken to it or not, so you might want to just, you know, make sure you put a nice primer coat on. It's typical short run stuff, um, you've got butt joins in many of the areas, um, no locating pins on the fuselage for instance. You do have a couple of pins here for the rear horizontal stabilizers and the, the rudder and fin. Um, here are the two different shoulders. Uh, sorry, backs of the fuselage there, so you've got the options for the later models, I believe. Um, here's the two parts of the engines. Now there is quite a lot of flash running over here and some of the sprue gates are a little bit large, but again, it's typical short run stuff, all the details there, so you just have to make sure you clean the parts up nicely. Um, there is detail on both sides in some parts, so the engine is not actually blind on one side like some short run kits are. There's some detail on the uh, base of the seat there and on the interior sidewalls of the fuselage. So all in all that's quite nice. Um, very fine recessed panel lines I believe. In fact so fine I can't quite catch them with, with my nails. So they are very uh, very nice. They look actually quite in scale. So that's something um, it's also a, a good plus as well. There's quite a lot of detail there as far as panel lines and um, access hatches on the underside here of the wing. Then we've got the platform canopy. Now you've got two of these and I'm not sure whether they're the same. They do look, yeah, I think that they are identical. So you get two canopies there in case uh, you have a problem with one of them. And it might be that you, um, with the two, if you can get them both out nicely, it might be worth um, seeing if one can be cut open so you can slide the middle portion back. Then on to some of the uh, extra bits. So here's the photo etch. So there's two options there as far as the instruments panel is concerned. You've got paper um, instrument dials, or you've got the film where you paint it uh, white on the back and then it shows through and then there is the etched metal where well, you've got a few nice e nice extra bits there that just give you some um, finesse to the kit so you've got the instrument panels this is the louvers here for the um, engine cowling uh, we've got um, the landing gear doors as well as a few other small parts there as well uh, mainly evolved or mainly used in the cockpit um, and we've also just checking with all of this I don't actually think we have um, seat harnesses for the for the cockpit but I may be wrong there but um, it doesn't look like there are any straight off so you might need to uh, have a generic set of uh, Italian harnesses if you want to add that to the seat then finally on to the decals so we've got the uh, the two finish options it's FA6 and FA4 um, and then we've got the Spanish Civil War options there as well, which is the typical kind of um, well-known Condor Legion symbols there with the, the black circles and the white cross. Um, and this is the 1-1 aircraft. Uh, there were... There's two possibilities to this aircraft, believe it or not. Um, 
as they arrived they were just in the base colour so they did not have the green mottling so if you were to tackle this kit or a kit like this um, you don't necessarily have to do that mottling um, I'm gonna probably I'm well I'm actually gonna do this one in the base coat so it's everything you see here apart from the green um, mottling and I've also got another one uh, of this this type of kit, um, aircraft, sorry, in 148th, and now I will then attempt the modelling in that. So it's quite nice to have the two options there. And then there's winter um, camouflage, which does have modelling for both of the finish options. Um, and the decals are extremely nicely printed. Um, I'm just slightly worried you've got here the date. It's printed by uh, proper, proper, Propag Team. I think that might be pronounced, uh, but it's 1999. So hopefully this looks like it's been looked after very well, but hopefully these have been in a nice um, conditions and they won't fall apart as soon as they hit the water because there's some very nice details there. Uh, we've even got the um, markings for the propeller blades as well. So uh, nice lot of detail in this kit. So that's a nice little kit and something a bit different. Um, these are obviously out of production and they are a little bit old now, but they do still turn up on um, eBay. I've seen one or two over the last sort of few months. Um, I missed a couple that actually of these that went, there was two kits of the different types, um, which went for £12. So that was an extremely good price, believe me. If you keep an eye out for these, you'll see that there's some available at the minute that are international. Um, so they're in Europe and there's a couple in America and they're well over sort of £40 it works out without postage to get to the UK. Um, I didn't pay that, I managed to get this one for around £15 which I think is quite good given the um, scarcity of it um, and I've obviously missed the bargain before so I, I wanted to um, get one of these. And um, it's a really nice option. So if you see one of these, or you may even have one of these in your stash, then it's you know it's a very nice kit, and um, it'd be nice to see a few of these built. So that is the AML Fiat G50 Series One um, in 172nd scale, and hope you enjoyed that review.